welcome to another vlog. It's Saturday and I'm about to go meet my friend Edward. at the MoMA. L trains are not <laughs> Please hold. In three, four, A, C, J, or M trains. As I said, I'm going to meet my friend at the MoMA today because I haven't been since pre-pandemic. This is a bit of a trend for art museums for me. I've been back to the Met, I've been back to the Guggenheim, now it's time to go back to the MoMA. Also, there is a cool exhibit on for um, still a little bit of March that has VR, so I really wanted to check that out. So today, let's go see some art. <laughs> sucked into the digital art exhibit and then into an architecture exhibit. Can't shake the architecture no matter how much I try. We knew about a third of the project's architects from Columbia School because they teach and we had some of them um, so that was kind of fun. And then we went to the cafe because you know enough culture. We had a little macchiato, tiramisu, it's lovely sat at the window, highly recommend, very relaxing. And then um, now I'm headed back home. That concludes my Saturday activities. I'm just gonna chill with Luca and probably edit tomorrow's vlog. That needs to go live tomorrow. Stress, <laughs> have it started. It'll be fine, it'll be fine somehow. Um, and then if it all goes well, I will have some time tomorrow to continue exploring. sunny Sunday and I'm here near Washington Square Park to grab a bagel and then like go read in the park just for an hour or so. I might also walk around the neighborhood a little bit but I just wanted to enjoy some like relaxing morning time with food, coffee, and a good book. So I've come to Leon's Bagels to grab the aforementioned breakfast and then we're gonna head into the park there is a life i lead in the city hurrying to cup my tea i can take what i need to get by it doesn't make it easy the other piece of my heart moves slowly somewhere in the great unknown when i return from the afterglow 
Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling that the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with the place to leave In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone I'm remembering the words you told me Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone to go to the one on Mercer Street, but it was actually closed for the day. So now I'm on Bond Street and I'm going to head into Dashwood Books, another cute little shop. Reformation, I finally found a pair of jeans that I like in a light color and I ended up buying it in two because you know when you find jeans that fit like snap on it so whoops wasn't the plan but I had some time to kill because this bookstore didn't open till 12 and now I'm gonna go in
you're about to do a haul. I wanted to show you all the pieces that I got while I filmed my Soho guide, just in case you want to pick any of them up or you just want to see what they actually look like in an apartment, in normal lighting, on a real person, <laughs> instead of in one of those beautiful stores. So settle in, let's get into it. First up is the perfect beach dress. It's from Cold Gaia and it's in a stretchy knit fabric which is very forgiving and just kind of like hugs your figure in all of the right places. It is not quite full length, so you can easily walk with this on the beach or wear some heels and wear it to an event. Um, I am planning on wearing this to a pre-wedding event in the summer, so I thought this was really versatile and as the saying goes, I can always wear it again after. Next up is this top, also from Cold Gaia. It's a knit bralette, and you can pair it with the corresponding bolero. They come as a set, so for those summer nights that end up a little bit cooler than planned, this is the perfect throw over piece. Also this thick knit, so I think it would stop a fair amount of wind, and you can wear it with jeans. I can also imagine this with like a cute satin beige skirt if you want to have it a little bit more flirty, but um, generally super versatile, very flattering, secure fit, if you know what I mean. I'm not worried if I'm walking around the city. And yeah, on or off, I think this is really cute for summer. And speaking of summer, I picked up some sunglasses from Totem. This is the packaging and they are a really great everyday style. It's just basically um, black with gray lenses and they fit perfectly. So I'm really excited to wear these. They don't really come off. I have some sunglasses that are a bit more statement that like keep coming down your nose. So these ones are perfect for clean lines, elegant and would pair really well with any kind of outfit. So these are probably going to be my most versatile sunglasses for the summer. And for those hot summer days, I grabbed a few more scrunchies. When you ask them in the store, they may have way more colors than what is on display. That was the case for me. I was looking for their neutrals and all they had out were their flowers. So they let me dig through the scrunchie box and I found this um, brown one which is like satiny and it has their logo on it and I think I'm just like a sucker for graphics so I love that and Asia card material for the black one so it's a little bit less soft but again logo and like really tight so I think like two turns would do it just to hold your hair up. I really like these and prefer them over the thin scrunchies because I feel like they break my hair less and um, if you're looking for some oversized ones even some like out there ones Give them a look because some of them had like ribbons coming off not really my thing I'm more of a neutrals gal but for those of you who dabble in color gani is probably like the store to look for for scrunchies all right i know i just said i'm a neutrals girly but we are entering our feminine era i saw this flowery top in reformation and i don't know what came over me like i would never usually never there's not a single other item in my wardrobe that has flowers on it let alone multiple colors and a pattern like what what but i saw this and i thought that these ties are so cute and feminine and like flirty and fun and like you know i'm just excited for warm weather really and dressing in a little bit more of a like a girly way so I picked this up there's also for those of you who struggle in fitting rooms there is a hidden zipper here that I just found after purchasing and trying it on for like the third time so uh no need to struggle ladies there is an easy way to get into this top that I just didn't realize so I was like sizing up trying to figure out the struggle is real sometimes with female fashion but loving this style this fit and it goes perfectly with the jeans that i also picked up at reformation it's really hard to find jeans so like when i do gouts to get them so here are the jeans 
They are high-waisted, they give you a great butt, and they are wide-legged going down, so very clean lines again. Just very like figure hugging, and I love that. I do like a wider leg pair, so. Um, and my favorite bit is they stop at the ankles because I hate when jeans drag on me. I just don't like that style. So I prefer to have my ankle and shoes poking out. And that is exactly what we've got here. Last but not least, I picked up this phone case. I will link it down below. I just thought it was really cool. I'm like very into the curvy, shiny thing. So new phone swag. So this is the end of my vlog. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I hope that it inspires you to go out and spend a Sunday doing the things that you love, whether that's eating bagels and reading like me or something else. Let me know in the comments below what you do on your Sundays and I hope to see you again next Sunday. Bye!